Hey there, Champion. This is John Kovach Jr., founder and creator of Champion Circle. Champion Circle is all about the personal development. And side by side to your personal development, do you, do you gain skills and knowledge on how to be a better professional as well? As you improve personally, your job, your business, your projects, and so much more may increase as a result of your efforts. And we focus on the major principles that go to adding your successes upon what you've already accomplished. Now, I'd like to dive in to one of my favorite books of all time. And if you don't have a copy of this book, where have you been? <laughs> Are you under a rock? Because this is what we do at Champion Circle. You need to pick up a copy of Think and Grow Rich. This is one of my favorite books of all time. This has been my Bible for business and personal development. As I've delved into this every single time, I find something new that I absolutely love. And I want to just share with you a brief quote, something that will give you an insight to what it is that you need to be doing every single day. Because oftentimes, you guys, we let our lives dictate our results rather than letting our actions dictate our results. Let me open up this book here and I'll read from you, uh, uh, I'll, read, I'll read for you, there you go, a quote given by Napoleon Hill. Anybody can wish for riches, and most people do, but only a few know that a definite plan plus a burning desire for wealth are the only dependable means for accumulating wealth. Let me break this down. Anybody can wish for riches, and most people do. I've been to so many mastermind meetings, so many events throughout the world, where I have seen so many people aspire for so much more. They want riches, they want glory, they want validation, they want so much out of their lives. And they're willing to go to anything, and they think that learning is the way to get where they need to be. And while learning is an important aspect of it, you can't hang your learning at 80% or more of the process. Learning is just a minimal, let's give it 20% or less of the process. Application is so much more. And when it comes to riches, you cannot yearn for riches by merely just wishing for it. The other day, the Powerball was at $2 billion. And we thought as a family, why not? Let's go, let's go, let's go buy 10 tickets to Powerball. And I thought to myself, what would I do with $2 billion? But let me tell you this, that thought right there, the action I put in to going and buying a Powerball ticket was the action I needed to put myself closer to winning Powerball. But there's a fallacy in this entire belief. I put my faith and trust in a system that would better me. I thought of myself, what would I do with $2 million? And the fact that I asked that question meant that I don't know. Which means my vision, my goals, my direction is so clouded that the clarity I thought I had needs to be clearer. And I know that you sitting right there listening to this message will probably agree with me that you have had wishes upon wishes and yeah, $2 billion would change your life. But if you have no idea what you would do with $2 billion, then you'll never receive $2 billion. And I don't mean that as a kick you while you're down kind of comment. I mean that more as this, <laughs> anybody who wishes for riches and most people do, but only, have a f but, but only a few know that a definite plan plus a burning desire for wealth are the only dependable means of accumulating wealth. I encourage you not to put your faith and definite plans in the lottery system. There's a reason why it's called gambling, because you could lose it all. And basically, you're just giving them free money. And that's what it's all about. But if you come up with a plan and you apply that plan and it is definite, not wavering, don't change, focus on your vision, you too, you too will be able to accumulate the wealth you desire. So I encourage you, 
as a member of Champion Circle to dive deep into this book, which I'm happy to announce that we as an entire organization will be slimming down our education focus to only diving into the principles of Think and Grow Rich. As I have studied for thousands of hours the words in these pages, I can tell you that no book has made more millionaires than this one here. I'm also excited to help you stay accountable to that. And I recognize that when we put action into play, when we take a definite plan and put that into our main focus, our desire and our faith, then we too not only achieve wealth, accumulate wealth, but you gather wealth at accelerated rates. And this time and time again, have I seen come in droves and come in seasons and come in waves of my life. The frequency, you guys know what a frequency is? A frequency is a vibration, okay? And it's a, it's a, it's a wavy thing, if you know what I mean. I wish there was a, a picture, okay? A vibration is a frequency and a frequency is a vibration. The frequencies for success, the frequency for wealth is not 240 megahertz. <laughs> the frequency for success is the vibration of discipline. Being very, very specific and definite in your plans and executing those plans. And that's what we're going to be going over every single week, every single month in Champion Circle. I'm excited to announce this. I'm thrilled that you're a part of this journey with us and don't miss out. And if you're just joining us today, you have not missed a thing because this is whether you take chapter 12 or chapter two out of this book, you too will be able to accelerate its principles and the accumulation of wealth in your life. This I believe, and this is why we created Champion Circle, your mindset must be that of a champion. Take yourself out of this picture and look at two different people. There are champions and there are losers. Now, I don't mean this in a derogatory way. I just mean this as a broader picture. How many losers are there compared to champions? Very few people win. Now, you may be like, eh, every time there's a competition, there's a winner. Yeah, of course there is. But what percentage of the winners are amongst the contributors or the participants or the competitors. Very, very small fraction of a percent of the actual competitors in any given scenario are true champions. And that is because of mainly one thing, the way they think, their mindset, the way they attribute all the things that they work towards that makes them a champion. So if I take losers and champions, what side do you want to be on? I'm drawing the line, okay? Are you a champion? I sure hope you are. And you're here today, which tells me a lot about you. So join me, join the, your fellow champions today and take action towards the better, the better, the bettering of this world because it's more about riches than we have ever learned. And that I know. So thank you for joining us today, John Kovach Jr. We'll see you at the next meeting. And if you haven't already picked up a copy of Think and Grow Rich or asked one of the leaders at your chapter, you will find that we can give you endless resources to help you fulfill, apply, and learn these principles in depth so that you will too will accumulate the riches you desire.